What is happening, y'all? This is Jason and Miss Holly over here at Cog Hill Farm. And I need to settle something. I need to settle this debate. We need to find out. So y'all come on with us and let's just settle this for good. Oh, we got a fun video today. I, I just, y'all come on. So our initial plan today was to run to the farm store and go get some fence. Well, they've had fencing plenty the last few times we've been, but we went today and they were out. <laughs> oh, but they got some more coming in next week. So that's put the fencing on hold. But I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to wonder if, you know, we ordered some parts we needed and one of those back ordered and took about, I don't know, five, six days longer than it should have. I went to go get the fence today and they won't have any more until next week, allegedly. So I'm starting to wonder if the good Lord's telling us, I want y'all to work on this fence when it cools off. But so I said, you know what? Let's have some fun today. And that's what we're gonna do. For those that don't know the whole story behind Holly. Hey Loretta. Miss Loretta wanted to tell you guys hello and hope y'all have a glorious day today. Loretta, I'm gonna come see you in a little bit, okay? So Holly's owner had fallen and broke her back and no longer could take care of her anymore. And she made a post about it on Facebook, and for some reason, it showed up in Brooke's feed, or on her Facebook feed. We were not looking for another dog, this just showed up. And Brooke told me about it, and I was a little interested in her, but then I slept on it, and then the next day I told Brooke, I said, Brooke, uh, I just don't know. I, I don't think we need another dog. Now this was last Christmas now, so remember that. We didn't have as many dogs as we have now. <laughs> well, Brooke had the idea and said, Jason, let's just go look at her and see what she acts like. And that'll tell us if we are interested in getting Holly or not. And y'all, as soon as we pulled up there, me and her made a connection and she has been my shadow ever since. Why she chose me and not Brooke or Mary Carl, I have no idea. But she did, and from this point forward, Holly has been in my pocket every day, 24-7, or it seems like 24-7. <laughs> Unless one of the boys comes over here and she gets to play. But that is how we came across Miss Holly right here. Well, when we adopted Holly, the owner listed her and told us that she was an Australian Shepherd. She knew the breeder very, 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 very well. And he said they were Australian Shepherds. And he had the mother and daddy. And called Holly an Australian Shepherd puppy. So that's what we've always said Holly was, was an Australian Shepherd. But a lot of you guys were telling us that they y'all don't think she's an Australian Shepherd. Y'all think she's a Border Collie. I really don't know. But today, we're going to take a step to find out what Holly is because we're going to take Holly's DNA and send it off and see if they can tell us if Holly is an Austrian Shepherd or if Holly is a Border Collie. Honestly, it really doesn't matter to us what she is, but for fun and giggles, we thought it would be, you know, kind of fun to find out and we thought you guys would enjoy it and get a kick out of it too. Isn't that right, Miss Holly? Yeah. Goodness gracious. Oh, goodness. I'm going to tell y'all what. I don't know if this is a indication or not, but Holly loves to retrieve, and Holly loves water. But she's no Labrador retriever, though. <laughs> Speaking of loving water, Bandit, do you ever stay dry? Hmm? Do you ever? Look, every day. This is Bandit. Every day, y'all. And this is Rocky right here that's generally how i can really tell these guys apart if bandit hadn't been in the water yet sometimes it's hard but most of the time i can tell these guys apart 
because of that right there. This fella right here loves water. And this fella right here doesn't seem to care either way. And they're brothers. I say it all the time, but it just amazes me how each animal is different. Each pup is different. I haven't taught her to catch the frisbee yet. But we're going to start working on that. She can catch a bone off her nose, which we practiced for a few weeks, and she now has that down pat. But the frisbee thing we're going to work on, plus she's kind of wore this frisbee out, so it really don't throw very well. You ready? You ready? Oh my gracious. So I'm curious, what team are you guys on? Are y'all team Border Collie? Or are you team Australian Shepherd? What do you think Holly is? Or do you think Holly's just a mutt? I'm leaning that she's a cross between the two. I really am. But we shall find out. So I want your honest opinion. Okay. Your honest opinion. Let me get my hat on. Okay. This is my brains. Okay, get your brains on. Okay. Are you team Border Collie or are you team Australian Shepherd on Miss Holly? I'm going to go outside the box. Uh-huh. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Super mutt. <laughs> it's my favorite breed so far. I, I, don't, I didn't make a list for Super mutt. Okay, so in all honesty, yeah. I think she's Australian Shepherd. You think she's Australian Shepherd? I don't know why, except for from speaking with Miss Penny, who, yeah. is, who had her right. when we rescued her. Right. Hearing it firsthand from Miss Penny telling us that her parents were Australian Shepherds, I just have to believe so. You know, I lean that way. I really do. And then, you know, I honestly wonder, I didn't print super much. But I'm thinking that she's a mix between the two. Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily I mean if she is Australian Shepherd, I should take that back. I do feel like she is mixed with something. Yeah. But I think we're gonna find that in that mix we have a lot of Australian Shepherd. More Australian than, than Border Collie. That's that's my bottom line. That you you may be right about that. And now Super Mutt may win out yeah. in the percentage. Right. But I still think between those two she has more Australian Shepherd. Okay, so you're leaning Australian Shepherd. I am. You know what? I'm going to lean the same way. Oh, are you? Yeah, so I'm going to keep a tally. Did my data have anything to do with it? Uh, I was just saying a cross between the two, but now honestly, I've changed well, mind. well, well, that's not fair because I want to take a poll. All right. Team Aussie or Team Collie, and, uh, and me saying mix between the two is... Kind of, kind of, you know, trying yeah, to be. Yeah, you're, 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 you're trying to be a winner. I'm trying to be a winner either way. But did you ask Bandit and Rocky? I what hadn't they gotten that. I hadn't gotten that far yet. Do y'all hear those hummingbirds behind us just going crazy? As soon as I said that, they stopped. They did, didn't they? <laughs> I bet there's 20 of them over here. Well, Holly wants you to throw her. I know. Frisbee again. Does that have any indication as to? Well, what? I told her that they, she loves water and likes to retrieve, but I know she's not no Labrador retriever. All right, Holly, you ready? You ready? You ready? Can she catch it? We haven't practiced that yet. What do you guys think? Well, guess what he What's just that? told me. What? Oh, yeah. he went Aussie. Yep. Bandit I was going to tell you. He, went... he whispered his answer yeah. in my ear. So now we got to let Rocky, who's probably not going to cooperate. Rocky said he's got to play with his. Bandit, you are sopping wet, buddy. His buddy. Holly says she's an Aussie. Holly said Aussie. Looked like it looked like Rocky said Aussie. Oh, but look! Oh yeah, he's definitely uh, definitely Aussie for uh, Rocky. He, so let me show you. That's two more votes. This for is Aussie. Rocky's vote. <laughs> the corner has been toward. Oh my gracious! You remember that election where the? Oh yeah, the hanging Chad. Yeah, that's yeah. what Rocky voted. <laughs> the hanging hangin Chad Chads win. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! We got a little tug of war going on. Yeah, they're crazy. Holly always wins. Because she's so fast compared to them. Yeah, she's ten times faster than they are. Well, we got my opinion, we got your opinion, we got the dogs, but I want to go check with everybody else and see what they think. Y'all know the honeymooners are pretty much the newest addition here to the farm. 
but I still want their input. I would love to know. What do you think Holly is? Oh, Team Border Collie for Gus. Yep. Border Collie. Okay. Loretta, what you thinking, girl? What you thinking? Which one? Yeah, I don't... Loretta picked Australian Shepherd. She's going against her husband. <laughs> she's, she's got Loretta. some paper, Jason. Loretta. She was serious. She meant that. Loretta says she didn't care what the Gus bus said. She's team Australian Shepherd, and she was letting him know that. Hey, I appreciate a strong-willed woman. Yeah, I sure do. Peaches, I hate to wake you up from your nap. This is pretty serious business. Um, if you could, and listen, I know you know Holly and the background and everything, but I really need your, your expert advice on this. Are you team Australian Shepherd, or are you team Border Collie? Could you please help me out with this? I know you're the farm boss and this is petty, okay? I get it. I get it. But everybody, the entire COG squad is going to want your opinion. I know you got a farm to run, but I mean, we got to, you got to make a choice. Just make a choice. But I'll edit all this out. People won't know that you didn't want to play this game. So just, just make a choice, okay? Well, y'all. Uh, Peaches says she's going with Team uh, Australian Shepherd and that she just made a blind choice and don't hold her to it. Peaches, I promise you, your fans are going to thank you for being involved in this little fun game we're playing, okay? Oh, Tip. Tip says he's Team Border Collie, so Tip, I got your vote, okay? Man, y'all, Tip came in like a wrecking ball and gave us his opinion, didn't he? I came in like a wrecking ball. She's at the spa. Oh, Jesse's at the spa? Well, Jesse, I want to um, get your opinion on something. Are you sure? Yeah. You know Holly, and you like Holly, and believe it or not, Jesse actually likes the puppies. I'm trying to figure out or take a guess on what breed a dog Holly is. And so we got Border Collie, and we got Australian Shepherd here. And, you know, you could just let us know what you think. She said whichever one hugs the best. Who is the biggest hugger? I don't know, Jesse. You tell me. How about I hold them up like this? What do you got? Who you got, Jesse? Jesse's going. Je Australian Shepherd. Everybody's picking Australian Shepherd, but Tip got a little upset about it and took this vote a little too serious. <laughs> hey, partner, you next? You want to hold these up for Nugget? All right, Nugget. Just to be fair, okay? I'm going to swap them around so you can't see which way's going which, okay? Now, which one do you think is more like Holly? Australian All right, Shepherd. Buddy. <laughs> there you go. Look. Oh my gracious. This is crazy. You know, they always say animals know things, so we're wondering if uh if they may know something we don't. Maybe on to something. Okay. Come here. Alright, Professor Moody. I'm gonna call him Professor Moody because he's got the biggest head of any animal here. I mean bandits probably coming in close second, but <laughs> So you're saying that professors have big heads? Yeah, because his brain's so big. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got a big brain. So, Moody, who do you think? Australian Shepherd or Border Collie? Oh, also, he picked Australian Shepherd right off the bat. Look at him. All right, buddy, we appreciate you. Yeah, we sure do appreciate you. I mean, wouldn't y'all think if he's got the biggest head, he's got the biggest brain? and That's what I think, too. Professor Moody. From this point forward, he is going to be called Professor Moody, unless he's wrong, and then we won't call him that no more. My, who, who's been here longer, Mo or the Honeymooners? The Honeymooners. Honeymooners came before Mo did? I think so. I can't remember. They were real close together. Mo, you're probably the youngest animal here, pretty much, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, we would like... A young man's opinion on this. Look at here, who you got? Border Collie. He's well, team he's got Border Collie. Both out, but I think he's leaning towards Border Collie. Me too. You know how you talked about Mildred being sweet and Jesse being sweet? Mm -hmm. This thing right here is a pretty sweet fella too. But you know what? He does start, he is starting to stink. He's turning into a man. Yeah, he is starting to stink. Or. 
a buck if you watch the <coughs> shit the kids channel. He wants to eat my hat. <laughs> if I got my regular hat on, he'll sit there and let me pet on him as long as I want to. Mo's such a sweetie. Joe, do you want to participate in this game? Or are you too busy courting Nugget? I think he's busy. <laughs> He don't want no part of it. Want to give himself a scratch? He don't want no part of this. All right, so we got everybody's opinion, everybody's vote. So according to the farm, this is what they're saying: we had ten votes for Austrian Shepherd, and we had three for Border Collie. And Tip really meant he's voting for Border Collie. <laughs> So let's go grab the DNA test and give Holly some swab and, and get this thing sent off today. I was fixing to try to do the swabbing outside, but I think that would not be a good idea because these boys are crazy and they're gonna wanna help. So I think we're gonna go inside and do the DNA test. Y'all come on with us. All right, Holly. You ready for the moment of truth or the first step? Holly, can you read the directions? Cause I forgot how to do this. <laughs> so it says first activate, which I did that. Mm -hmm. Second swab, make sure it's been 30 minutes since your pup ate. She hasn't eaten anything. Has it been 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It says swab the lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Insert the tube, the swab, into the tube with the tip facing down. Okay. Close cap and shake 10 times. Okay. Yay! And this is all ours. We're gonna seal this up. And it's no postage necessary. Per the internet, it says two to four weeks. I think the boys was around the three to four week mark, if I remember correctly. Alrighty, there we go. Hopefully in about two to four weeks, we'll get our results back. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Bum, 